If you have roaches, this is a perfect example of why you need to be opening your system every week and taking it outside, blowing it out, and everything. Okay. Do I need to say any more, really? Okay. This was a no power issue for a PS4 model 1115A. Now, there's no guarantee that replacing a power supply is going to fix a no power issue. <coughs> but when it comes to power supply and roaches, I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to be the power supply. So we're going to open this one up and thank God I only found one live roach in this power supply. Oh, I'm sorry. One live one and one little teeny baby one. Okay, here's the one I... Gotcha! Smash his little head. And that was the last live one I found. Okay, so we're going to show you exactly what these roaches do to the inside of your power supply. Other than breed and shit all over the place. Okay, just on that short visual inspection, I've seen at least three issues that this box had over time. And one, which is most likely the cause of the power failure of this power supply. Right. A lot of times roaches will get up in here and they will short across the cap capacitor's legs and burn it out. You see that one wire that's running the length in front of that cap? If the roach has one foot on that and rubs up against the cap leg, it will fry it. Take a look here. You see the arcing from smacking roaches has actually caused some of the plastic coating to burn off that's usually sprayed on these. Let's get you a nice close-up look. See how it's greenish? Right there. Right. Now this didn't burn all the way through, but that greenish is caused from an arc burning up a roach. It's actually corrosion. Okay, <clears throat> if you look at the bottom side of that heat sink, you'll see another little bit of green on it. That's where the arc reached the other side. That one didn't kill it. Later on down the line, another roach came along and arced himself right here. On the long jumper lead wire which runs in between these two uh, small heat sinks and I'm going to pause this while I answer that and finish talking okay so we're back here let's take a real close look at that wire see that wire Going straight across, see, see the corrosion on it, then from arcs. Okay, now you might also notice right here at the, sorry about the autofocus, hold on. Uh, 
let's move this over here. Okay, you see all this black around this? This unit here is fried. Most likely when that arced across there. Let's come around here. Right, see the black on this side? Yeah, pretty much guarantee that this guy here is the guy that killed it when he arced across that to the component right there in front of him and I'm not going to get any technical terms with all of this this is just a visual representation all right but yeah probably arced from there to there which caused that high power component right there to burn out <coughs> and there's one other spot just a little ways to the left here you'll see where there was some more arcing going on from roaches crossing component paths with high voltages so yeah see the leg under there uh, let's get this to focus yeah, leg right there. That's likely what caused it there. Short from that bus wire to the leg of that component. And then that short itself likely caused the other component to just burn up completely. Alright, so we're going to look right over here. A little bit further down. Hold on a second. We're kind of going in this. Uh, yeah, that's where it shorted out there, and then it shorted out from there to there. And that one right there is likely the one that burned it up. And then we had the short over here. And we got one more that I haven't showed you yet. And I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, I'm narrating after the fact. <laughs> Alright, so let's come over here and move these a couple of these guys out of the way. But yeah, that's the bad component right there. Now, replacing that may or may not fix it. It depends on whether or not it killed that MOSFET over there or blew out anything else. Uh, anytime a high voltage component burns, usually winds up blowing a lot of other stuff up. But let's take a look at the leg just off to that component there. Hold on one second and I'll get to that. There we go. I think this is where I get to it. Oh no, I was talking about that leg again. Usu usually when I open these up, that leg to that green uh, toroid, basically a toroid, uh, burns completely in half. This one's a common one for being burned up. Take a look right here. There we go. You'll see some definite arcing from the leg of that component there. See how it's kind of greened out? There we go. That's an arc. Caused by an arc from one leg of a component to another. So, yeah. Uh, roaches are an electronics worst nightmare. They will actually eat the coating off of the legs of the components and expose the metal they'll crap directly on them they like doing that <laughs> and there you go see the black underneath the leg of that one component not that one the blue one so it most likely arced from the leg of that to the other yeah, so I'm going to take a look underneath 
hopefully no live ones run if I remember right everything underneath it was dead thank thank God <laughs> all right so just for giggles I'm going to show you what the back side of the board looks like and the underside of that circuit board remember this was at one time a thriving community yeah all dead now thank God just wanted to make sure that guy was dead he looked alive <laughs> yeah yeah this is the back side of the board uh, don't see a whole lot if any visible signs of anything on the bottom side down here actually arcing or shorting but uh, it's not impossible this actually looks fairly good and free of roach poo they actually they, they love living beneath the board because it, roaches actually like something to touch their belly as well as their back when they're running around and so they live underneath the board and they'll come up and they'll roam around in circuit city on the top <laughs> and then go back down under the board and just go in and out in and out in and out sick disgusting little creatures if you have roaches open your box up once a week and blow everything out as best you can I'm gonna try and put together a few videos on how to decontaminate a game system without even opening it but unfortunately for you guys it'll be a little on the expensive side <coughs> and then I'll talk a little bit more about uh, other methods of getting roach killer inside <coughs> without uh, destroying your game system but that's extremely hard to do because most roach killers are going to be a liquid of some sort and obviously liquids and electronics do not mix alright so I'm going to clean up my workstation go wash my hands <laughs> yuck 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 so yeah try to keep the roaches out of your system do whatever you can stay safe happy gaming everybody please don't attempt to repair your own electronics at home you're not qualified take your game system to a qualified repairman do not learn from YouTube and do not hire kids or other repairmen that learn from YouTube or you may become a victim of something you truly don't like. I uh, give away game systems, PCs, laptops, uh, quadcopters, all kind of electronics free to my viewers just to help keep you guys away from these types of criminals. So please, please, please don't risk your life trying to fix something you're not qualified to fix. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Stay safe and happy gaming everybody.